Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali A.K. Awotero and I'm here to give you guys a message from your ex. We're going to see what's going on with this person. What do they want to tell you? The overall messages and the possible outcome. Guys, before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. If the reading resonates and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. I went ahead and I pulled the oracle out for your reading and then we're going to move on to the tarot. So the first card that I actually pulled out was from my personal makeshift oracle deck and it says, I will be back. Okay, I'm sorry guys, of course it looks backwards, but I will be back. So there's somebody that's coming back. Okay, and then the lovers came out. There are two, pa two paths ahead be true to yourself. So the lovers is coming out as well. This definitely has to do with somebody from your past, someone that wants to come towards you, and you're going to have to make a choice here with two paths, okay? Whether you choose to move forward with this individual or you choose to um, move forward on your own, but there's definitely two paths to pick from. And with hope, I haven't given up on us yet, and guilty, I feel the pain from the damage I have caused. So this person's coming in with hope, but at the same time, they have a lot of guilt, a lot of remorse, and a lot of um, sadness for what they've done to you, okay? I'm also getting a message from Spirit that this person wants to have a conversation with you regarding their past actions, okay? They want to clear the air regarding their, their past actions. Collective, whoever you were dealing with in the past who may have walked away from you, for some of you guys, Spirit just said um, they went towards a third party. This person regrets. They have a lot of remorse and regret for what they did to you and how they walked away from you and how they didn't even give a crap on how they left you feeling or left you hanging. This person is actually coming back because now they're on this, on this, on this path where they want to fix things with you and they want to rebuild the connection once again. So we're going to go ahead and get started here with the tarot universe, archangel, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What is the overall energy with my collective and their ex? What is the overall energy between my collective and their ex universe? Overall energy, please. Overall energy. <laughs> the lovers again. Wow, this is a soulmate connection, guys, okay? This is an energy where you two, I feel, even though you guys are in separation, and whatever the reason was that you guys separated, there's still that overall energy of wanting to come back together. You feel like this individual is your soulmate. You want to have the opportunity to reunite with this person. They want the opportunity to reunite with you. At the end of the day, with the lovers here, this person wants to come back into union with you because they see their path the rest of their life being with you, okay? So the overall energy between you and this person is the lovers. It's a reunion, and it's definitely a reconciliation. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is the lovers here for my collective, please? What is the lovers here for my collective and their ex? The Six of Cups. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Damn. You guys are reconciling today. That's it. No ifs, ands, or buts. For those that you've been waiting for, for the person, you've been waiting for somebody to come back around, here comes your reconciliation. This person is coming back. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. They want to regain stability in the connection. For those of you guys that this person physically moved out of the house, they want to come back. Why? Because with this Five of Cups, this person is carrying a lot of burdens. They are carrying a lot of sadness. With the Five of Cups, there is a lot of remorse for their past action, and they want to come back and they want to explain that. Universe, Archangels, and Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this person's intentions with my collective? What is their intention with my collective, please? Overall intention with my collective universe. <laughs> the Temperance. Wanting to achieve some peace, some harmony. Wanting to restore this connection. And again, the temperance is coming back into union. So this person has a plan. They have a plan to come in. They have a plan to sit down and talk to you. 
to reveal why they did what they did to you in the past. And they're hoping and praying that after these conversations occur and you and this person are able to hash things out, they're hoping and praying that you allow them to come back in, to reunite, to reconcile with you, and to restore this connection once again. Ten of Pentacles, this person actually has their bags ready for the, sep the second that you accept them back, they're moving back. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, overall intentions here for my collective, please. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment, guys. Some of you guys have been hoping and praying that this person come back around. You've been hoping, 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 praying, um, moon magic and manifestations, meditations, med um, affirmations, uh, scripting. You've been doing anything and everything that you can do to get this person back. And here they are. And here they are. Your wishes are getting ready to be granted. You're being told to prepare yourself for this. You, whatever it is that you hoped for and you prayed for, it is literally here for you already. Knight of Wands. This person is coming in passionately. They're coming in very persistent. And they're coming in with communication here. With the strength, this person is not going to give up. They're not going to give up until you give them another opportunity. First of all, until you even give them the first chance to communicate with you. And second of all, once you give them another opportunity. With the emperor, this person is coming back to take control of the situation. Not to control you, but take the relationship back under control. Put things back the way they used to be and move forward with you. Queen of Swords. I feel that your energy, my collective, is the Queen of Swords, okay? You have a lot that you want to ask this person. You have a lot that you need to tell this person. And this person is preparing themselves for what is going to get ready to come out of your mouth. And the reason is, is because they know that they did something to you in the past. And now it's time for them to sit down and hear you out. They didn't want to hear you in the past. They didn't want to talk to you in the past. But now they're ready. They're ready to sit down and have this conversation with you. What is the outcome here between my collective and their and their ex universe? What is their outcome? What is the outcome between my collective and their ex, please? Outcome between my collective and their ex. <laughs> oh my God. No way. <laughs> God. Look it. The Hierophant flew out right underneath the camera. The Hierophant. The outcome to this situation, guys, is the Hierophant. You will be getting married, my love. If you are already married, you will be renewing those vows. If not, you will be getting married. And I shall be expecting an invitation to the wedding. And I may be getting a lot of them the way this is going. Because this person's coming back with one intention and one intention only is to get their woman, get their man, get their family back together. This person has a plan and they plan to follow through with that plan. What else, universe? What else part of the part of the outcome here, please? Seven of Swords. Okay, you better not try to come in here with no sneakiness. And the Knight of Swords, uh-uh, they cut that shit out. They cut it out. That's no longer part of their trademark. This person is no longer planning to run away. With this Knight of Swords in the reverse and this Seven of Swords, this person has cut the bullshit out. They have no intentions of coming in and leaving ever again. This person's overall energy is to heal this connection. And it is to bring this connection back into a higher level commitment. They are going to be proposing matrimony, Spirit just said. They're going to be asking you to give them another chance. They're going to be begging you. They're going to be persistent. They're going to be chasing you. Some of you guys are going to be getting flowers at work. Expect this person to beat up your ass coming out your throat until you agree to be with them once again. <sighs> Final advice here for my collective universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Final Queen of Wands. So there is a very passionate energy here between you and this individual. And the Three of Wands. This person wants to move forward with you passionately. Four of Wands. They want to move forward with you passionately. And as I said that, the Chariot. Look it. Let me get it together here because Spirit got a lot coming at me right now. This person wants to move forward fast with the Eight of Wands, okay? They want to move forward, Eight of Wands and the Chariot. They want to move towards success. As I told you, for some of you guys, once you accept this person back in your life, they want to move back home, okay? 
They want to they want to pursue their family life with you once again. They're going to be very, very passionate about these forward movements because their end goal is to be in this higher level of commitment. Okay, Their end goal is for you to be their wife or for you to be their husband. If you guys are already legally married, they plan to renew these vows. But whatever the situation is for each of you guys, because we all have different scenarios going on, this particular scenario is straightforward for all of us, okay? Whoever it is that you have been thinking about, whoever it is that you have been hoping and praying for to come back into your life, this person is back and they're coming back with a plan. This person has gifts in hands. This person has written down what they want to do with you and how they want to move forward with you and they plan to follow through with all the promises that they're going to bring to the table. So let's get you some final messages here. Sorry guys, I should have prepared this. Alrighty, sorry about that. Should have had these prepared. Alrighty, final messages for my collective universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Final advice for my collective. Final advice. What does their ex want to tell them at the moment? Final advice, please. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. This person is scared, collective. They are scared, but they're going to be very persistent. They're not sure if they can meet your expectations, but they're going to be very persist persistent. I still love you. This person is still in love with you, okay? They still love you. They know that at this point, they've done a lot of wrong to you, but this person is willing to do whatever it takes to get you back, whatever it takes. And maybe we're just too different. Yeah, you guys may be too different. There's, It's like they say, opposites attract. It's time for you and this person to really sit down and look at your guys' behaviors and try to work through it. If you're willing to reconcile with this individual, and this person is most definitely wanting to reconcile with you, it's time for you guys to work through those differences. Final message here from my collective universe. Something is still missing for me, and I'm not trying to. I'm and I'm trying to figure out what it is. And you know what's missing for them? It's you, because at the bottom of the deck over here, I miss you. Okay, so this person's already figured out that the one thing that is missing for them is you. It's you and they're coming back and they're coming full blown. They want their marriage back. They want their relationship back. They want their family back. Shit, they want to be back in their own home, in their own bed with you right alongside them. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal, the info is in the description box below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.